1 plus i to the power of 10 is equal to 1 i, 32, 32i, or 32, 1 plus i. Okay, this shouldn't be too difficult to figure out. My first instinct here is to write 1 plus i in polar coordinates, and that should be a lot easier to, to do this exponential. Um, but some of the options we can actually rule out immediately. It's certainly not going to be options A or B because 1 plus i has a modulus of root 2. And so 1 plus i to the power of 10 should have a modulus of 32. And so the answer is clearly going to be either C or D. Uh, a and B have a modulus that are too small. E has a modulus that's too large. Uh, and in fact, we can probably also very quickly work out which of options C and D is correct. So 1 plus I has an argument of um, pi over 4, right? It lies at a 45 degree angle uh, between the real and imaginary axis. And so if you raise that to the power of 8, it gets back to the real axis. And then you multiply it two more times and it gets rotated to the purely imaginary axis. So in fact, the, the answer will be D. Um, it, D is the only one that has the correct modulus and the correct argument. But, you know, if I actually wanted to work this out, 1 plus i to the 10, this is the same as root 2 e to the i pi over 4 to the power of 10. This is 2 to the power of 5 times e to the i um, 10 pi over 4. So that's 32 e to the i, um, what is this, um, divide that by 2, 5 pi over 2, which is 32, wait a minute, yeah, pi over 4. Um, yeah, and, and, um, five pi over two is the same, it's the same, five pi over two is the, uh, positive imaginary axis, the positive imaginary direction, which is the same as i pi over two, and e to the i pi over two is i. Uh, so there we go. Yep, nothing too special here. Uh, you could have worked, my first instinct was to work it out explicitly using this, uh, the polar coordinates of complex numbers. Um, but then just looking at all the answers more closely, you can rule out, um, all, you can rule out all the incorrect ones pretty quickly just by looking at the, the modulus, what the modulus has to be and what the argument has to be. So not too much more to this one. Thanks for watching.